Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Black Tiger, released in the arcades by Capcom in 1987. That's its North American and European name. I knew it as Black Dragon because I played it in that arcade. I also talk about in Westwood Ho and used to have a lot of Japanese games. You could tell they were Japanese because, well, it had a different name. And it told you this blurb at the start of the game, which said, if you're playing this game outside of Japan, you are committing a crime. Really? It's the 80s. Good luck to anyone in Japan knowing me, a 12 year old is committing a crime. Anyway, absolutely love and adore this game. Love playing it back in the day. Absolutely suck at it. There were home ports. Uh, there was a port of the Commodore, the Spectrum, the Amstrad, the Amiga and the Atari ST all by US Gold. And to be fair, they aren't really bad. It's kind of an interesting arcade game um, because it's insane with so much stuff going on. Anyway, the story is the land has been taken over by three evil dragons and you're a barbarian. I would have said you're more of a knight, and you have to go through eight levels, kicking the shit out of everything, which is crazy, as you can see here, getting keys, stuff like that, and, um, yeah, then fighting bosses. Never saw a boss back in the day, so without you're going to see one now, but hey, I had to play it because I have a massive amount of nostalgia for it. Here's the thing, though, right? Uh, why did they change the name from Black Dragon to Black Tiger? Because, you know, it's got dragons in it, and not tigers, so, so why would you call it Black Tiger? I'm sure someone knows out there. I do not. Now he looks like a barbarian because he's practically butt naked and stuff. Let's put some money in. It's kind of a dungeon crawler 2D style, if that makes sense. Cross with um, ghouls and ghosts. There's one dragon. Where are the other two? Long, long ago, three dragons descended from skies above with a rolling thunder and destroyed the kingdom into darkness. Uh, from lengthy suffering and darkness of the kingdom came one brave fighter. Just the one. Right, so anyway, you got fire, you got jump. So you got a shield, I don't know exactly what it does, and you throw daggers, as well as you've got your ball and mace. Look for stuff to break, because there are like tons of secrets. Bottom left keys, bottom right potions. Don't know how I do that. Right, now what I do remember is, apart from the fact that I suck at it, collect as much money as you can, is those weird blue blobs that drop down. Are irritating as hell. What I didn't learn, Duck, what I didn't remember was there's no parallax. Really? No parallax. Okay. I, as part of one of my Let's Play a whole bunch of oh, Amiga games on my Kim Hank GP430, I did have a little go at this on the Amiga, and it would appear that the Amiga version is a really close port. I complained at the time saying, got no parallax, that sucks. Well, neither does this. Right, do you need. Oh, shit. No, you don't need shit. Um, you need keys to open the chests. Jump onto these things. Keep your wits about you. Basically, it's a quarter, you know, gobbler or 10p sucker. That was a bit awkward. Why is everything booby trapped? Because why not? Um, like that then. <clears throat> it's designed just to absorb your money. Basically, your parents' money. I like the fact that, you know, the dragons have been very nice and they've uh, left arrows, so that's where to go. Kind of a little bit hobbit-y-ish. Oh, no. oh, hang on. Don't jump up. No, they're going to fall off. Awesome. They don't? Right. How do I get up there? Do I need to get up there? I want to get up there. I need it in my life. Oh, look, look, there's fire from behind. Whoa! And how do I get... Where's my health? My health is top left, and I've got time as well. And I freed a wizard. Please accept some Zenny coins. Oh, Zenny, isn't it? Isn't it Zenny in um, Forgotten Worlds? No, you don't. So look, there's the... Uh... And I can't destroy them while they're up there. I can do that. 
got gameplay of the Spectrum version actually. It's alright. Look, it's um I can't remember a name from Little Shop of Horrors. Clearly they pinched that. No you don't. Oh bats! It don't mess around, does it? Oh, shies and balls. You're gonna bump me back? Of course you're gonna bump me back. You're gonna bump me back, aren't you? Oh no! Put some money in. <coughs> checkpoints. Pretty unforgiving checkpoints because it's Capcom. And look, he could, of course he can. He can shoot through the uh, the walls. Wow, well, I really want your money, don't I? <coughs> I'm running. Right, so, your mace. Okay, weird. Is more powerful than your knives. But obviously, your knives have reached. Look at that! There we go. Don't need to go up there because I've got the wizard, or do I need to go up there to get the wizard again? In. There we go. Welcome to Dungeon. Not the Dungeon. Correct grammar, you know. Medieval times wasn't a thing. Probably just a translation thing. Fire? No. Oh, another wizard. It doesn't tell you anything about why the wizards have all been turned to stone. Oh, look, skeletons. Why am I so happy? They're going to kick the shit out of me. It's all come flooding back. Uh, in fact, in 1987, I wasn't 12. I was... No, I was 12. Uh, yeah, but it's probably as far as I got. But it's alright, it was on my parents' money. Is it just me? I thought this as a kid. Why are they all wearing life preserves? I mean, they're dead for one thing. Please, that's not any coins. Can you give me some friggin' power-ups or something? Do you? I'm pretty sure I've got memories that you power up. Well, unless there's shops. There's probably shops. But there's a pal here. And i got a lamp. Because, yeah, you can keep that one, Zenny. Zen. Right, so, okay, so I am going to have to go this way. Like, like I said, I suck at it, but it's just something very satisfying to write the, uh, it's the way this game is. And obviously, can I shoot his fireballs? I mean, it didn't really make much difference, because he blew my armour off. Because I have the shittest armour in the world. Okay, uh, I'm dead to you. I... Oi! How much money have I got? Where's my money? 808. 200, 500. Yay! And I've got 308. Um, I don't know what that does. Oh shit, I should have bought health. Right. Okay, so yeah, it's your standard Capcom game. It's got shucks. Shucks? Shops. I want to see, for tax purposes. Turn around! That's my um, Duke pad. It's seen better days. Oh. Boss? Because there's lots of arrows? Oh, those things. They kill you if you jump on them. Can you work out why? go. I'm not going to complain, because they were a bit easy. See, they only had two health bars. I don't my health bar, but if I any, I would be dressed if I didn't get the shit kicked out of me. But yeah, um, they were a bit easy. Good. And here we go. Automatically further than I ever got as a kid. Well, that might not be true, because I do remember these plant things. Although I haven't said that. Fuck it. Audrey, that was a name. I'm pretty sure you could have seen them in the demo. Right, I've lost my my um, projectiles. I don't like those jumps. They seem a bit precarious. I don't want to fight these little skeleton dudes without... Nice, I'm blue, why am I blue? Without um, projectiles is what I was going to say. Shitballs. Yeah, this game's hard. 
Poison. I've been. I'm blue because I've been poisoned. You can't continue because it's a Capcom game. Oh, we can. I was going to say, don't do that, Capcom. You scared the shit out of me. Run! Oh. These things overcrowd you, overpower you, overcrowd you. Both of those things. Really quickly and easily. Oi! Does that thing do anything? No. I have to try. I think just moving and not dying is more important than money to me. Hey! What the fuck was that? More booby traps because, of course. No, no. Shit balls. Does not mess around, does it? It does not mess around. And for the record, I think Black Dragon is definitely a better name. There we go. That's on me. I should run away backwards, but I can't because I'm easily stupid. Poison! Vampire bats, then! So it's not poison, they're vampire bats. I do like the um, the enemy design in this, it's awesome. Shame it's kicking my ass. So they're not, they're not coming after me. Thank you, I'm dead to you. Please accept some more time. Thank you, something useful. Welcome to dungeon. Oh, I think it's gone there now. Collect as much shit as you can. Bonus days, basically. Ah. I'm just getting loaded because there might be shots and stuff. Run away from the bats! Those friggin' plants! That's the most un -exity looking exit I've ever seen. I am about to die horrifically. How do I get up there then? Like that. Walked into that one, didn't I? Give me some friggin' elf. Give us some advice. I don't want advice, you cheap bastard. Give me some health. Thank you, I'll get to you. Hey, I'll take that. What have I got? 837. There we go. What, I can only buy the one? That's a bit pants, isn't it? Very pants. I have no idea what half those things do, but I do like it rocking out in the background. Boss? Oh, how are you supposed to know that? It's a proper Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade leap of faith. That was a bit of a mouthful. There you go. Black Tiger, uh, running on MAME in Coinups 8 on my modded original Xbox. Loved this game as a kid, a massive amount of nostalgia for it, but it's balls hard, kicked my ass then, and it kicks my ass now. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day. Uh, I played the Black Dragon version as well. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.